Hey guys, we got a trouble call for a C metrics flow meter that's showing empty pipe and not measuring flow occasionally. Uh, we'll go and see if we can figure it out. All right, see you there. All right, here's our flow meter, C metrics IMAG, saying empty pipe. We've got flow in there. I can hear it moving through this pipe uh, because we're in a bottom of a saddle any air should be cleared. The operator also recently removed it. They went in and cleaned the sensors inside of there. This thing doesn't have moving parts. They cleaned the sensors inside the meter and put it back on. And yeah, I can hear flow and there's no air in there. Pretty confident that there's no air. But it's still saying empty pipe. I'm on hold with tech support with C-Metrics. See what they have to say. Um, but we're above the minimum flow and it's not showing anything. One thing I will try is we'll open this up and, and look inside just to make sure there's nothing weird going on in there. Uh, and then we'll go from there, see what the manufacturer has to say. Looks clean. Don't see any signs of corrosion? These are our output connections. You know, good, huh? Let me see. Ooh, look at that. It's working now. wonder if we just have a loose connection in here now that I'm futzing around these guys are no use I'll call them back another time so this is the battery backup for the unit yeah it's working now Boy, that is not the most. Confidence inspiring uh, thing. And there it is again, empty pipe. Hmm. In this empty pipe come and go. We're at 19.3 right now. That looks good. That's our remote register. The meter itself has a minimum flow. This is a four inch of about six gallons. But even if it falls below that minimum flow threshold, the sensors on the inside should still be wet. And the, this would just display zero GPM if it was below its minimum measurable flow. Uh, it wouldn't show empty pipe. Empty pipe is sensors aren't wet or aren't connected, I guess. So yeah, now it's working at 18 GPM. I don't want to see back here behind the battery case. Just make sure everything's cool. There's no pinched wires or loose connections. It could be messing us up. Okay, so yeah, there's another board. 
these are the cables from the sensor they seem good what about this ribbon cable he seems good so this is just a dummy display I bet and here's our actual computer it's doing everything oh what about these guys are those from the sensor Well, it's not changing nothing. Just trying to push them around and if I see it fail while I'm touching something then that could be it, but it's holding good. Very interesting. What about these guys right here on these push connects? How are they? Feels good. Yeah, very strange. I don't think they could develop a siphon here just because of the shape of the pipe. Yeah. Could be happening, but Man, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it looks good now. Yeah, working good. Okay, let's put him back together. And we'll just keep checking him as we go in case I bump something. Battery back in. It's all reassembled. Everything's working. The old intermittent fault with no explanation. Very sus. Yeah, so at this point, I don't know, I'll probably follow up with C-Metrics, see what they have to say about possible causes and things to check. I'll get some photos to document the pipe layout, but this is exactly how they want it in the manual, a low point in the system. So there's zero chance for air and they want it kicked off to one side so that if there are tiny air bubbles in there they don't interfere with the sensors which are where are the sensors they must be right underneath this on this model so yeah i don't know but it's working now i'll check with the operator too and see what they say about if it's working all the time or not all right guys see you on the next one